Let's go see you doing. Just play for fun, <laughs> it's so fun anyways. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the second Asia Solo Tournament. I'll be your host for today, Takasan. <laughs> so recently name changed. I've been Kaskas Japan for a while, but it's a name not many Japanese people can pronounce. They just call me Takasan, so I decided to go with Takasan for both my English and Japanese viewers. Now, as you can see today, 
We've got a we've got a lobby. It's not a huge list. Of, list. It's not a huge list of players. Our last squad tournament, we had a full lobby of like thirty nine players. So compared to that, you know, ten ten players, not quite the same. But I mean, in Japan, it's summer holidays at the moment. So a lot of people aren't home. Also, just the the state of the game in general. I think a lot of people are waiting for the next patch. But still, we've still got the best players in Asia here. So stay with me, and we'll have a good night of spell break. So just before we get underway, just want to explain to the Japanese viewers that I'm going to be casting in English today. So excuse me, just while I reintroduce the stream in Japanese. Mina san konbanwa. Kyo wa daini kai no Asia solo taikai desu. Watashi wa taka san desu. Doubo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Kyo wa zanen desu ga nihongo no haishin jana kute solo ego no hou de yarase de mora iimasu. Jitsu wa sagashite rin desu yo. Kou nihongo こういう大会を日本語で配信してくれる人を探しています。もしそういう興味があれば、ぜひあの連絡をください。あの定期的にこういう大会やってますので、いっぱい仕事あります。<笑>えー、じゃあ、ちょっと英語に戻ります。ごめんなさい。<笑> All right, so we're back, and we got a bit of time. It's getting close to game time, probably another ten minutes. So while we've got time, let's look at the players. So we'll start with our Japanese players. As you can see, we've got Pechu San, Al Neko. Sorry, I say San after some names and some I don't. Forgive me. <laughs> I'll try to not say San. Pechu, Al Neko. Londa Mays and Kent. So we've got the four Japanese players. Surprisingly, only four. There's a lot of names missing here that have been playing in the other tournaments. I know Chunsuke and missing Nick. Some of the some of the top players. I know Nick. He was in the team that won the squad. But unfortunately, today he's not here. No, he might pop in. He might pop in the chat if he jumps in chat. Everyone. Give him away. And so, first, these Japanese players. I mean, Al Neko has been known as the top Japanese player for a long time. He hasn't performed. He hasn't gotten results in the solo event so far. It's been actually Lon Mays has probably been the high, the the best performing Japanese player in the solo events. And I mean, Lon Mays is a beast. I was in a game with him, and he was just Flying up and pot shooting people with ice, just from like miles away in the air. It was a beautiful thing, thing to watch. So, and their teammates, Al Neko and Lon Mays. So it'll be interesting to see if those two match up against each other, who will win that fight. The other two Japanese players got Pichu. He's he was world number one not too long ago. I remember seeing on Twitter, world number one in the ranking. And he was also lucky enough to get a hollow skin. Actually, Lon Mays also got a hollow skin. So those two, they might be sporting the hollow skin today. But yeah, Pechu Senchu, Pechu has really stood out just from his hard work. He's been grinding this game. Hopefully, we'll see him in a good spot, get a good spot today. And the last of the Japanese players, Kent. I mean, he's a work workhorse. He I think he's been in every tournament we've had, and he's always gotten good results. Never at the top, but he's always been up there. So those four Japanese players, keep an eye on them. Now we also have Chinese players, which at, in the lobbies recently we haven't seen a lot of Chinese players. There was a there was a time, I mean, just a couple of weeks back, where every lobby would have would have lots of Chinese players, and they were good. They were beasts. So, I don't know if you're good or bad. That sort of situation has stopped. It's, but I guess we'll say it's bad because without the Chinese players, we haven't been getting many lobbies in Asia at the moment. 
but still these two players, Zico in particular, he's you've seen him in the squads in the first solo tournament. He's probably the best. I think everyone thinks he and the other player, 2-3-3-3, three, 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 they're the two top Chinese players. And uh, he's here and he'll show us why, I'm sure. Uh, the other Chinese player. Now, I don't have his English name here. He's called Anchor. So, Anchor, welcome to the tournament. <laughs> he apparently, this is just a rumor, I'm not 100% sure. He's an ex pro Overwatch player. An ex pro Overwatch player. This is just a rumor. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I mean, if, if he was a pro in Overwatch, his skill is going to be. It's going to be up there. How long he's played Spellbreak, I'm not sure. But, yeah, he'll be one to look out for to see if his mechanical skills can get him some wins. All right, let's keep going. We've got Starscream uh, from Brunei, if you don't know what that flag is. <laughs> Actually, Spell Scream, he, Starscream, sorry. He's got some good YouTube videos. Check out his YouTube if you guys get a chance. I've got all the SNS details on the screen at the moment, so make sure you guys follow these players. Now Starscream, he's been around for so long, he he's known to sort of hang around with uh, Sugar Wizard. Sh no, Sugar Wizard's not here tonight, it's his 21st birthday. Like I don't know why he's prioritizing his 21st birthday party over this tournament, but you know, forgive, we'll forgive him just this once. <laughs> but yeah, anyway Starscream, yeah, he is He's, it's, it might be his day-to-day, -day, I think. He's got a lot of skill, and he's been around probably longer than most. Another one that's been around for a long time is Full Metal from Australia. See, I'm Australian myself, so I'm kind of biased towards Full Metal. He is, he's, he's known in this community, probably the most well-known streamer. He streams Krunker more than Spellbreak, <laughs> just because of the lobbies at the moment, but... He is dedicated to this game, and I'm sure we'll see why today. So keep an eye out for Full Metal. Now our EU competitor, Black Labby, from Germany. Hopefully he shows up with his time zone differences. Sometimes the EU and NA competitors forget to show up, they're asleep, you know, things happen. Uh, Black Labby's team in the squad tournament last month, they, they got second, third, maybe? And that's from EU, on like a ping of 300. So if that tells you anything, it tells you that Black Labby is an insane player. And in solos today, he'll be, I think he'll show us why. And last on the list, Tumoed uh, from Malaysia. Now he and Starscream are good friends. I think they were in the squads together, yeah. So, you know, he's an another one that's you got to keep an eye out for. All these plays are so good. Now, we've just got a bit of time before things start happening, so we'll just switch to the rules quick. So, it is the, it's a solo tournament, and usually we have A-League and B-League. Not enough players for B-League this time around, so just A-League, open tournament, all players are welcome. It is the top league, uh, league for the top players, and it's three matches. And we'll have a 10-minute break after the second match, uh, mainly just so I can start calculating the scores and give you guys an update and the players an update before the third game so they can adjust their tactics. And then after the tournament, after our third match, we'll just have a fun exhibition match, uh, Frost only. So uh, viewers, if you, if you want to join us for that, please join us. Yeah, now there is a three minute delay on the stream, so we'll try to give you uh, advance notice. And you can see our point system here, going down to the points. So, with the point system, the kills mean a lot, especially if you can start comboing those kills, get up to three, five, seven. As you can see, you get extra points when you get to those levels. Uh, in a solo tournament, maybe we won't see a lot of kills like that high, but still, if you can get three kills and get that extra point, that means a lot. And finally, before we jump into Discord and get games going, just want to introduce the player that I think we all should keep our eye on today. It's uh, Petju. 
as I said, he's been grinding this game, and I think his skill has come up a lot, equal to that of the other Japanese players like Al Nickel. So keep an eye out on him. I think he's the one to watch today. Alrighty. Now I am going to jump into Discord, and we're hopefully going to get some games going. Going, going, going. So I, I, I'm sure here. they'll get to it. Hey guys. Hello. Hey, hey just down hey, here. I, just... Hey, good to see you, mate. Now, this is streaming, this is on the stream, so keep everything okay. above the belt. I don't... <laughs> okay. That's all right, I wouldn't say racist shit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you white man. You're from white, so what, bro? Are, are we allowed to say white chocolate, then? Wow. Well, uh, I guess, but uh, probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think that that's okay. We, so, how are we looking? This is not everyone, hey. Yeah, he's like. We still well, have... I'm here and keen to go no matter what. So. I know for metal they change. Chinese, not the two Chinese guys. Chinese players. guys are not gonna coming yet. Yeah, and Lucky Labby. is Lucky is uh, coming. Lucky just registered. Lucky. Oh, he yeah, did. And Lucky. Oh. oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, Kent, yeah. Is that yeah. what you called him? Kent Lucky? Sounds like Kentucky chicken kind of. Kent. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Kentucky. Like, Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Kentucky yeah, fried. And the China guys are not here yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to spell on the coast. The Juji Natra. So, we're missing three more. Maybe give them an at and say, hey, yo, we're doing a solo thing. If people want to join, come do it. Maybe do an at everyone because we're low in numbers anyway. All right, let me get the Japanese one. Yeah. Taka san, domo. Ah, domo, Can we do that here as well? Star Stream? Yeah, I'm trying to find his name. Juju Natara. Yeah. Oh, because my keyboard doesn't have Chinese characters on the name. Hi, Domo. Hi, Domo. Hi, Domo. はい、てくれるなかまげたらやってください。マーさん、マーさんはどこだ。これはニックスね、ニックスオンライン。いや、ニックスセディジョイン、イフデワズエナフピープル。ミガスニック。<笑><笑><笑> Just like where you're on the only active community that's trying to make tournaments now. Or not even the SIL is doing anything. Mm -hmm -hmm. I think, what is it, the In Spellbreak International League, they had a, a squad tournament, but only like three teams registered. Someone is still pink and lucky. He probably is not aware of the sign. So. Cool, cool. Uh, can do can can. Is anyone in Spellbreak Philippines? Are you in Spellbreak Philippines? Uh, Star Screen? Hmm. Yeah, but the place is <laughs> kind of dead. Did okay, anyone even talk there? No, actually. Oh. Wow. I mean, it's the same with the OC. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just OC is like, okay. <laughs> okay we'll Every now and then you get someone just having a Why is this game the fucking out? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's just it. Uh. It's actually more polished than fucking literally every game that comes out nowadays. Why is it not out? Yeah. You know, they want to get the quest system right. That's that's important. I do respect that. Also playable FPS. 
and netcode. Okay, that's a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird, because the gameplay is great, but normally games work on other shit before gameplay. It's weird. I mean, Lux is online, too. Come in, see? Mm. Zero is online. Huh? She just, she just registered. Speak of the devil, dude. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Zero, yes. Nice. I just saw you send that message. At 58. Yeah. <laughs> oh, awesome, Sarah. Registered. How you done? Yay. Let's go. Decide to get so a late comma. All right. Never... We'll take every player we can get at this point. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty scuffed. I thought as much. Man, okay. So Kent is here. Right? All your games. Hi, how you doing, Zara? Yeah. Haven't seen you for a while. Yeah. Your yeah, mic's muted, I think. All right. So he we just need it, our so. foreign, our Chinese, and our German player. Oh, I don't think that guy is coming, the German guy, because he's, yeah, he's not coming. He's, he, he, uh, he edited his message, he's like, okay, it was too rude, I deleted it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Debated. Debated. <laughs> we'll just see if we can get a reply from Zico, and then we'll get the game started. Just, uh, you want to just start out your spell with? We're gonna yeah, jump in a few minutes. Uh, I'm just warming up in a squads game, so I'm ready when you are. Yeah. All right. Okay. Soro Setsume no Hori. Hairi. I'm so serious. All right. Sakani Ego Yarun there. So not to Kantani Nihongo there. Setsume Shimas. All right. I'm just gonna start now. Just a, just a few things just to, just to say. So if anyone's streaming, just make sure you've got a three minute delay. Yeah, I'm not streaming. Not streaming. Awesome. And. Um, what else we got? So, just I hope everyone just read the rules before before you entered. I mean, there's not much there. It's not a squad, so you don't need to worry about different having different skins and stuff. Mm. Uh, uh, I'll have a look at them real quick. Sorry, I never actually read them, but I assume that I know them. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing new there. All right. Yeah, nothing, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just a screenshot. Don't forget your screenshots. Yeah, so it's oh, the most important. The thing. classic mistake not reading rules. I remember Overwatch contenders, like there was this massive important rule that no one read, and like a week into the season, people noticed, and they're like, "Fuck!" Ooh. Like no one out of hundreds of people in the scene read. The no rule. way. What did they do? Was it let everyone go? That was a mess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. And yeah, so we're gonna be it's a three match. Gonna be three matches. There's gonna be a ten minute break after the second match, just so you guys can you know relax and also so I can get a get a preliminary score for you guys, so you can maybe adjust your tactics in the third game. Uh -huh. And nice. af after the three matches, just gonna have a fun custom game. Uh, all frost gauntlet only. Frost class. Other class will be anything goes. And that's just a rewind after the tournament and also just have, get you guys together. Nice. In a nice relaxed environment. All right, that's it. Just let me just say that in Japanese and then I'll get right back to you guys. では日本語で簡単に説明します。まあ、ルール読んでもらったと思います試合は3つあります。試合あの、2つ目の試合の後に10分の休憩時間を取ります。それ、その理由があの、その間僕があの、あの、暫定的なあの、そのスコア、合計ミノのスコアをあの、計算してで、そのスコアその暫定的なその スコアを発表します。その3試合の前に発表しますので、それをそれによってちょっと自分の何て言うかもし自分が下の方だったらもうちょっとキルを頑張って取るようにするとかそういうあの戦略を変えてそれができるようにで、最後の試合の後にあの
カスタムイベントもやりますあの参加は自由ですがルールがフロストのゴーレットのみであとクラスはフロストボーンとあともう一つのクラスがあの自由です簡単ですが今日は頑張りましょうよろしくお願いしますはいはい、質問ありますかなければ、もう試合に入ります。OK。All right. Are you guys ready? Yes.、Right. ソロモードですよね。Yes. So, solo、okay. Asia. Everyone make sure you got that. Don't Just... forget screenshot. Oh, yeah. Screenshot. Yeah. <laughs> screenshots. OK. We're good. Screenshot. Of... I'm joining the lobby. There's four people in the lobby. Is this you guys? Yes. I, I'm in it. And even if it's not, we, we're going to have to queue anyway because they're not going to pop、yeah. themselves if they're others. Okay. So, I'm going to go to the lobby. I'm going to go to the lobby. I'm going to go All right, six o'clock. One minute. Everyone jump in the lobby. We got six people at the moment. The time is 1 18 17. Okay, there's nine people in the lobby. Okay. Nine, nine, eight, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Alright, that's not too、right. bad. Nice. That's not too bad, actually. <laughs> okay, okay. I think it was、uh, like a couple of random. They gave out the keys yesterday, so. True, true. Okay, じゃあこのままで試合に入りますみんな頑張ってください。Don't forget to remove streamer mode! Oh, oh yes. yeah! Oh, yeah. So, well, I never have it on anyway, but. Streamer you know. mode of.、Uh, oh my god, I'm getting like 30 FPS. You have to look out for the cutting into the side. Oh, anyway, I hope everyone has fun, yeah? yeah. Alright, good luck, gamers. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, this is it, guys. We got our match. Sorry for all that. As you can see, we've got an 11 person lobby. Thanks to a couple of late entries. Miss Zero, thank you. Kent, thank you. It's good. This is the great thing about the Asia community. We're a small community, but you can just see how everyone is sort of banded together. That's great. All right, now you get to see the. The caster. Fall from grace. And then we'll get into the action. Stay with me, guys. The first game Asia Solo Tournament. So, how are you guys feeling about the next patch coming? We've got a lot of information from the, from the team, from Pro Pro Proletariat. It's got a lot of people excited for the next patch. Here we go, spectate. All right, let's go, guys. Now, immediately, look at this the hollow skin. This is Petju, who recently got the hollow skin in a community event. They, it was a screenshot event where you had to take a screenshot of your team, of people with you, and give the sense of like the community of the Spellbreak community. And they did an amazing shot of three people using Wolf's Blood Rune. It was a beautiful thing to watch. Let's hope he can get some wins. Scary, scary hollow skin. Hopefully, he'll be a scary player today. Now, Petru, he's got stone. And he loves stone at the moment. Like, people go through phases, right? And Petru's son, Petru, is the same. But he's been loving stone a lot more than others. He actually got in. <laughs> it was funny. On RF Legendary stream. Oh, hang on, we've got a fight happening. That's a beautiful stone right off the bat, and the lightning to follow up, but it doesn't hit. The opponent was immediately out of there, and now it's two people. Oh, but look, he hit up on top, but Petru san saw him, and it was beautiful to get the lightning there. He, lightning is just what he needs as a situation to keep the enemy at distance and to be able to chase. 
seems to have lost sight as he, of his opponent now. Is it one of our players? There's a few players in here that are not part of the tournament. They may be beginners, but from the looks of the movement of the other player, it wasn't a beginner because he was out of there in a flash. Let's see if Petrusan can refind his opponent. That was a beautiful switching because you can see he's got the legendary lightning there. Uses the Tempest to get up high, trying to find his opponent again. But it looks like his opponent is out of here. Let's switch around. Oh no, here it is. Here he is and Petru sees him. How is he going to... He's got the boulder ready. He wants to get it right on the money for the first time. Get a good engage. I don't think the opponent knows he's there either. He's making noise with the Tempest. I don't know if this is good. The opponent will know him for sure. And from below, you can see the poison coming down, but the boulder hits big damage right there. And I don't think the enemy wants to fight. The enemy is running. Petru's on the ground now. Oh, but he is. You see the poison coming in, but it's too slow. Petru sees it coming. The fire misses just trying to get the dragon fire off, trying to use Shadow Blink, Shadow Step to get away. But Petru just, he's up in the air. He's still got lots of armor, still got lots of health. And look at that. Oh, the stone jumped by the opponent. The lightning dodge. That was brilliant. Look how low the opponent is on health and armor. He's using Shadow Step beautifully. The Pyromancer has popped. The Pyromancer has popped the opponent. At this range, a poison would hurt, but it doesn't look like he's going to get the hit. Petu is just too good at this movement. He's just like the Tempest to get up again. But actually, Petu is getting low now. He's got no armor. But look at that. It's Mr. O. What a fight. What a fight. At the end there, Petu actually got down to very low health and very low armor. That was a beautiful fight. Mr. O. A great fight. Oh, what a great fight to have right off the bat here. As we switch around Alon Maze, now you can see his health is at 10. Why? Because he is using Stone Shaper. Now, <laughs> this is very strange for Alon Maze. Usually he's crack shot, he's, he's like the damage build. But for the tournament, he's gone the opposite. He's gone this really tanky build, hoping that people will not play Crackshot against him, thinking that he is the Crackshot man. This is great. This is the psychological kind of aspect of Spellbreak, where you have these different builds that can be countered. And look at that. This is going to be great to see if anyone else is running Crackshot. Let's actually have a look and see if we have any other Crackshot players. Okay, see. Star Scream, Star Scream. He's got the Tempest Bulwark. A lot of Bulwarks here. It's just strong. And Tempest as well. I mean, it's probably the meta at the moment, this Tempest Bulwark. Tempest just because of the the instant movement you can get by jumping into a tornado. All right, let's see. We got full metal. Full metal's not even running Crackshot. Everyone's running the Bulwark and some other variation. Either Tempest or Fire it is, or Pyromancer, yeah. So this could be really good for Lon Maze with his Stone Shaper. His high armor and his low health. I don't think anyone can counter him. A brilliant play. Tumoed, our player from Malaysia. You can see he's got the lightning out as well. Lightning and Tempest. Interesting. And he's got the gauntlets for it. So this is really good for him. He's gotten just what he needed out of his class and out of the gauntlets. But how will he play it with a... With the, because you know with lightning, if you get in the air, you lose that accuracy here. How would he play it with the Tempest? It's an interesting build. Again, not a lot of action. We've got seven people left in the lobby. Oh, Neko. We do have a crack shot. People, we do have a crack shot. But where is our Neko? He is... Okay, he's on the edge. The circle is kind of in that area, but he's on the edge. And you can see there, there's three skill points. And he's getting one. Hang on. Do I see double stone? I see double stone. And he's also got pocketed the lightning and a wind. So he's going to be looking for the engage with double stone, get the damage on it, and just mop up afterwards. Wow, it's interesting that even this high-level play, the power of stone is evident. Wow, that's going to be brutal. If anyone is unlikely enough to cop that two boulders and then a follow-up from Al Neko, I don't think anyone can survive that. And if it's Lon Maze with, with his stone shaper, oh, what have we got? Full metal in the kill feed. I think it was a non-participant, but we'll just check. Yeah, I don't think it was a participant in the tournament, so it's just full metal just 
cleaning up the lobby for us. <laughs> but it is in this village area, which another player was in recently. So we'll just stick with full metal. See if he can sniff out another opponent. Now he's got ice pocketed. And a lot of people just pocket ice because you don't use it sorcery so much. But you do... There's lots of uses for the ice for the normal attack. Just because the sniper is so useful at a distance. When you see someone... And you don't even have to engage after shooting them. It can just be a just be a harass, you know. And then he's got the stone and the fire for when the fights get closer. Alright, let's see if there's any action around. Timur, he is crouching. Did he see someone? Someone could be close by. Let's stay with him and have a look how he's going to use this lightning wind combination. Man, this game is going to change so much when the double jump goes and we get levitation, isn't it? I mean, the, just the movement around without the fighting, it's just going to be a lot easier. But imagine in fights not having that. Now, he sees a skill point. Is there going to be other players nearby? I think there is. I think Timuad sees it as well. Yes, it's been popped. And you can see the player. There's another player. There's two. Let's see if we can get closer. Who is it? It's an Owl Neko? It is Owl Neko up here. So there's two, three players, possibly more. Let's see who can get the high ground. Owl Neko is with the two bowlers. He gets the second. He gets a bit of damage, but you can see it doesn't do a lot. He's got the refresher, does he? He does. Refresh with the blink and gets two, another two bowlers out, but not much damage. Now let's see if Owl Neko can find his prey and finish the job. One. The first, the two, even the second gets it. That area of effect on that boulder is painful. And look at that. He is not engaging. He's just throwing boulders from far away. He might even get the kill just with these boulders here. But there are other people. And he gets engaged from, from above. Who is it? He doesn't know, but he tries to fight back with the boulder. But isn't enough. Alneckel is nearly out of armor. Will he switch? He does. But to win just temporarily. And he's still just fighting with boulders. This is so strange to see Alneckel just fighting with boulders here. Now, he's backed. He backed off, and I think everyone's backed off here. Everyone's just recharging their armor, recharging their health points. Let's see who else is nearby. It was Timoed, and it was Al Neko. There was one more. Is it Starscream? I think it is. Starscream is here, fighting. Here he is. He's still looking pretty good. Doesn't have full HP, but he's got enough potions. And here, he's going to drink the potion, and then get right back into the action. Everyone has a boulder, it seems, just for the engage. But our Neko has two and the refresher on his amulet, so it's going to hurt if anyone that cops that. All right, now, Starscream is the one copying. You can see just the boulder after boulder. This must be our Neko who found him. How is Starscream going to get it out of here? He puts his old boulder back to try to get some distance. And look at that, the reed on the second boulder. And Wind jumps over it. He's trying to try to get some cover here. This is great play. Let's see if anyone's full medal is just taking his time. He doesn't want any part of that. Here's Timur, the other player on this. And it looks like Petru. Is that Petru? He must have joined in here. Oh, look at that damage. It's down. It is Petru who gets the kill. And Timur, insane plays there by the hollow skin Petru. All right, let's go. It looks like Lord Maze is now fighting. He, oh, the enemy's up in the air, but he didn't have anything to hit him with. And now he's Pyromancer has popped. It must be Al Neko because he's the only one with crack shot. How is Lord Maze going to play this? He's just going to run away. If he runs away from Al Neko, he'll have a chance to get the other people. And he, that's what he's doing. He's just running. He doesn't want to fight against crack shot. And only one person has crack shot. Starscream's still alive. Look at that. He's back up to full health. He is back in this. He was being chased by Al Neko for a while there, but it looks like there's just too many people. And Alnecker was not able to get the kill. Now Starscream becomes the hunter. Oh, but no, he cops the boulder. And look, boulder after boulder. He gets his own out. But he's copping damage here. Look at that movement bar. He gets, gets up in the air with Blink, up in the air with Tempest, and just trying to find his opponent. But the opponent is Wily. Look at this. They're all just so good at disengaging. But now Starscream, he sees action. In the distance, how is he going to approach this? With the boulder, of course doesn't get the damage on and he's given away his position here he gets up and he's going to try to get some damage on but no the opponent comes to him the opponent comes to him and now it's a fireball contest but the opponent doesn't want anything of it this is so interesting just a cat and mouse game no one is hard engaging 
But here is Full Metal fighting for his life. His armor is down. He's at half life and he's trying to get into the storm just to try and get a little bit of, you know, cloak and dagger, trying to get away from his opponent. Who is it? It's a hollow skin, isn't it? It could be Petru. It could be Lon Mace. You can hear an ice lance just missed there. I don't know if Full Metal was the one being targeted here. But he's just getting distance from his opponent again. No one is hard engaging. It's just little skirmishes every now and then. Ow and Echo. Ow and Echo with the kill and star scream. Ow and Echo gets the kill and star scream. Oh, I wish we could have seen that. And now Ow and Echo is feeling good. He wants another kill. He's got the boulders ready. Oh, just misses the tree. He gets the other one. Who is he fighting? Who is he fighting? Can someone, can anyone deal with this double boulder? Can anyone make Ow and Echo switch? What was that? He popped a pyro. He popped a pyro from that distance. That that prediction of where the opponent would be, that's just amazing. And that's what makes Alan Echo one of the best players. Now look at, him, look at him just abusing this double boulder. Like you can't call it anything else. Oh, and again, Lon Maze! Lon Maze! With the stone shaper, with only 10 health, Al Neckel with the crack shot gets him, and now it looks like there's only three. It's Al Neckel versus Petchu. Petchu's got full life. He gets a big chunk of his armor gone, but he's getting up, he's getting up, he's not taking any more damage, and now he becomes the attacker, misses with an ice lance, but only just. He knows where the opponent is, and he gets him with a fireball. That was beautiful to see. Our opponent is full metal. Full metal is in the mix here, too. So it's full metal, it's Al Neckel, and it's Petchu. Let's see who's going to win the fire at this range misses, but it's so close. The opponent can't fight back because the consistent pressure. Oh, and Full Metal pops. He sees, he sees Petchu just drinking up and gets the damage on. And he is in the driver's seat here. Oh, but did you see that boulder? That boulder, if it hits one, two, he's going to be down. So he's looking at him, just trying to get into the crevices that he can. And let the other two fight. That's Al Neko, he's got 32 HP. How can he play this? He's trying to heal up. Everyone's trying to heal up, is it? Are they? Who's going to be at the advantage here? Who has the height? <gasps> Al Neko's pyromancer gets popped. Was that a snipe? It was a snipe. Oh, but the double boulder. The double boulder and Petrusan's boulder. Pyromancer is popped. But Petrusan is up in the air. Oh, now Echo, now Neko is up in the air. Gets the range on the boulder, but they both miss. He's got to wait. He's got to wait for any more boulders. And look at him just waiting until the next boulder sorcery comes up. Gets the height, pops it, but no, it's red by Petrusan. Look at this fight. Now it's in the air. Gets the one-two wind. Look at this fight in the air. This is what Spellbreak is all about. You can't rely on your boulders for everything, but it's the boulder that finishes Petru, and now it's Full Metal. Full Metal versus Owl and Echo, and Full Metal's Pyromancer is popped. Let's see how this plays out. Up in the air. Gets the boulder. Gets two, and that's it. Owl and Echo with the kill. Two boulders to the face. Is Boulder not strong? Is Stone not strong, my friends? Ow and Echo, how many kills did he get? Oh, let's see if... Let's go back to Discord and see if anyone has words. <laughs> that double Boulder. GG! <laughs> yeah, double Boulder. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty upset with how I lost. But that's okay. <laughs> It's part of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it the double boulder or was it something more involved? It, it was It was the shadow step double boulder. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to find you? <laughs> he, he, was, he was sitting in the air and I was like, where the fuck are you? I can't see you. <laughs> Nowhere to hide, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> but so <laughs> many people using boulders. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> 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 the main, the main uh, <laughs> shit. Stone Shaper, I done there. So Stone Shaper, Lon Maze. You, you get you get ten per exile score. So I think I got one exile. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, so like, screenshot the wasu didn't I? Well, I was only remember that I was placed seven. Nice. Seven. Right. Yeah. So screen. My, my I got oh, one exile and I was second. That's what um like ten exile score is one kill I think. In the screenshot of person. Cool, cool. Shit. Forgot screen. to get the main screen. So, screenshot to what's the name of 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 the 
Awesome. I think I'm just happy. Hey. Okay, lucky didn't Shit. Awesome. I forgot that screenshot. Oh no! Forgot? What? Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, let's go. You, you, you can still get all the info you need from it, though. Yeah, I, I was yeah. second. You you saw that, and I got one XL, per, as XL scores indicate. Sorry. I'll make sure I get it next time. Yeah. <laughs> can you just edit it and put second in there? Ah, uh, sure. Um, hold on, I'll have to open paint. Kento sano screenshot to I just edit and your message thing will be fine. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. I thought okay. I was gonna get lots of uh, skill points uh, <laughs> put into my charge rune, but all I kept getting was fucking arc flash. I <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> couldn't abuse you... that shit. <laughs> Yeah, what's what is Tempest to and and the lightning? What's that build? Is it is it good? I've never seen it. Uh, like uh, I get to regen my sorceries, so what I do is probably uh, shock people and link into I, them and I see, shoot I see. one free shot while I dodge. I get you. I get you. I I didn't get charge rune. I need That was feels bad. Yeah. All right, uh, let's go into second game. All right. All right. Uh, just gonna check the lobby. Ja, Danny Shai, sort of sort of hide him as a guy. Must have took lobby no cackling. Stuck him as. Just wait to go to say. I just queued. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Nothing. 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 Awesome. All right. Number All right. Uh, good luck, everyone. Danny Shea. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right. Best of luck, everyone. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Game two. So, how did you guys like that first one? It was pretty, I don't know, representative of the meta at the moment. Lots of boulders, <laughs> a few crack shots just to keep the stone shapers in check. Let's see if anything changes in the second game because I think now everyone kind of realizes the meta or what you have to deal with. If there's any two boulders in the in the lobby, then it's hard to deal with. But there are ways. There are ways. So it'll be interesting to see how things change up for this second match. Stay with us. As the caster falls from grace, let's see who we're going to spectate first. Petju, we started with him last time, didn't we? But look, he's got epic chests under his belt here. See what he gets, an epic belt. Congratulations. He's got stone, he picks it up. Will he be going double stone? Yes, he is. <laughs> See, at this stage of the match... Oh, he's just getting stone everything. Oh no! Oh no! He's getting stone everything. This is scary, guys. This is scary. Is stone just dominating the meta? Or is it just by accident he just picked up a couple of legendary and epic stones? All right, let's look here with Kent. He already got two charges on his rune. He's got a legendary belt. There it is. That's lovely to see. He's got dragon fire in his hands, a poison and a fire. So he'll be happy with his equipment at the moment, except he doesn't have shoes, which is always hard. It's It hurts when you don't get shoes early, hey? <laughs> All right, let's switch to Al Neko, our winner from the first game. He's he would be he's going to be so happy with that win. He's been consistently the best player 
on in Japan, probably Asia. But he just hasn't been performing in these solo tournaments. But today he is. He got the win in that first and he looked good. And it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't just the double boulder. I mean, he is so good at those final circles where it's just the vertical movement becomes so important. He is so good at that. All right, now. Doesn't look like a lot of hatch action happening early this time. We got some randoms in the in the lobby. Okay, this will be interesting. Let's, let's see how good they are. <laughs> Playing against the best in Asia. Now Starscream. Here he is. He's got an epic chest in sights. He's in the hazy area. I don't think anyone likes this area, do they? Why do they need a hazy area? It's beyond me. But oh well, we're here. And Starscream. Now he's running the Lightning Conduit and the Tempest build. We heard briefly from Timoed why he was running it, just to get the cooldown on the Lightning Sorcery it was. We haven't seen a lot of that. I mean, I know in terms of sorceries, the Tornado is probably the most favoured in the course of the Boulder, but Lightning the lightning strike is really strong. If you can get one, two hits in a person and follow up damage, you can melt someone. And that's what they're going for. This is interesting. What? <laughs> okay, look at this class. We have Zealot from Lon Maze and Scholar. Is he trolling us? I don't think so. He's He's got something up his sleeve. This guy is a mad genius, is how I would... I would, is what I would call him. It's like a mad scientist, a mad genius with his builds and the way he plays. He's always thinking up new things. What is with this Zealot Scholar build? It's going to be so interesting to see. Using Fly. Let's see if he can spot anyone. There have been no kills yet. We've still got 10 people in the lobby. As we go to full medal here, he got second in that first game. It's great to see Full Metal performing, because that's what he is. He's a he's a performer. He's not in the like ha ha ha. Watch me, I'm a performer. He's a like a professional player. He's when the game's on, his game is on. And he oh, did he see? There's someone in the distance here. Did Full Metal see that on the left here? I don't think he did notice. I don't think he noticed. There is a player very close by here. Let's stay with Full Metal and see. What happens? See who can get the engage. Moshi, if Full Metal gets engaged upon. I don't think either of them realized. Now the circle is closing. Again, it's on these edge, it's on this edge area around Castle Bogmore. So it's gonna get it's gonna get tight very quickly. We're gonna see some fights very soon. I'm surprised we haven't seen much already. We got Miss Zero. LA Kama. She got knocked out early in the first round, but she was fighting Petchu. Ended up getting third place. And look at us. See, Miss Zero, she's, when she streams, everyone goes to her stream. It's just a great stream to watch. If you are around, make sure you catch her stream. She hasn't been streaming much recent, recently, though. It's been a shame. She's one of the one of the most popular spellback streamers we have, especially for our region. She's got a lightning in her pocket, a legendary lightning in her pocket. And look, she's running the crack shot now. This is great. Let's see if she can find her prey. At the moment, she just seems content with looting, but the circle is getting smaller. Soon, you'll start running into people you won't be able to run away anymore. Let's go Timowit. He's changed to crack shot. I don't think we've seen any stone shaper this time around. So again, the mental plays are with Lon Mays playing the stone shaper the first game just to make people switch to crack shot. And now he's running his own zealot scholar build. What is the man thinking? I would love to hear more from him. Timowit just seems to be skirting around the outsides, not wanting to find people yet. But he's a man who loves finding people. Petju. 
Look at that hollow skin. Let's see. He's not running the boulder anymore. <laughs> Is anyone... Did everyone stop running boulder? Oh, we got Kent. He's been engaged upon. His armor is down. He managed to land to get out of get out of the range of the frost lands. Lon Mazes in the kill feed. Oh, I don't think it's a participant, but so Lon Mazes just cleaning, cleaning up the lobby. But again, a frost lance gets Kent, and he's trying everything he can do to get out of the way. He's just trying to, you know, just curve around the boulders here, trying to get some space, and finally find somewhere to hide, and is able to heal back up. Who is it with the ice lands? They were to get those hits. That was amazing. But Kent is being oh. Pinter attack! He's got, he's got one on either side of him. He tries to, he tries to get out of the way and tries to fight his way out with his own attack, but it's not enough. He gets the ball into the face, and now he has nothing to do but to fly away and hopefully dodge these lightning bolts coming in. He does. He's got enough charges on his flight that he is able to just get right out of there, and now he's able to heal back up. This is great for Kent. He was in a bad situation there between a rock and a hard place. Let's see who was the attacker. Was it Al Nagel? No, he seems to be out of the way here. This is a random in our chat. It might have been Starscream. No, Starscream. Who was the fighter? Was it Lon Maze? No. Was it Full Metal? It might have been Full Metal with the ice. He is a god with the ice. It is. And now Full Metal is being engaged upon by that third party that was the engage with Kent. Kent is probably still by, still close by, and it's Full Metal, and it's probably Mr. It's these three players here in this close area. Who is going to get the nice engage? It's Mr. with a great attack and the follow-up damage with the with the ground smash. And now, oh, tries to get the fire, but the opponent reads it and gets out of there. But she spots probably Full Metal trying to get the snipe at him. And she cops an Ice Lance for it, but she cops the Ice Lance instead of trying to get, instead of getting the damage on Full Metal. Now she's healing back up and oh, immediately sees Full Metal trying to come back in with the damage and gets the boulder out. That was a great shot. And now she's healing up and is able to get the damage out, the fire, but she's coming damage as well. Who is gonna be the one that survives this fight? It's just damage on damage here. She's able to find just enough way, but oh, it is. She doesn't get, doesn't see it come from above. And now she's trying to get out her Pyromancer pop, but she runs straight into Petju. No, Miss Zero, and Miss Zero is down. But Lon Maze is now right in front of Full Metal. How are these going to play out? There are at least two or three people here. And you can see Full Metal here, just below where Lon Maze is. Does he know where he is? I think he does. You can see him jumping around and... He doesn't have... Oh, Lot Maze knows where he is, but look at that fire right to the face. And how does Full Metal follow up the damage with the Ice Lance? <gasps> but Lot Maze sees it and he's able to get out of the way. He's trying to get close with the poison, with the toxic, but it doesn't work. Wow, this is a great fight from Lon Maze. But Full Metal and him are both down to very low. Who is going to get the, who is going to get the next damage on? That will decide the fight. The poison misses. Full Metal is up. He tries to, from above, get the, get the fire down. Yeah, he misses. And the, now the Toxic is getting him. The Toxic is enough to pop Full Metal's pyro. This is great play by Lon Maze. Just to get the spread of the Toxic gauntlet to get the damage. And it's enough. And now Full Metal has only 23 health left. Can he pull back up? No, he doesn't. Another great kill by Lon Maze. Lon Maze is ripping up this lobby. Is this he fighting again? Is he still fighting? Who is it here? Hang on, let's switch to Petju here. Petju is fighting someone in this grassy area. I don't know who it is, but he's got... Look at those ice lances hitting. And then the follow-up with the fire. He gets the height to be able to see where his opponent is. And he dodges these poisons coming in. But it looks like a third party. There are so many people here. And Petju's pyromancer has popped. But still, he becomes aggressive once again. But no, he decides against it. He knows he needs to heal up in the kill feed. Kent getting a kill. Kent getting a kill. Nice. Kent has been surviving this so well. He's just using his flight to get out of trouble when he needs to. And now he gets the kill. This is great play by Kent. And now he sees in the distance two people fighting. How does he approach this? He goes up. He goes up so he can see where his opponents are. And now as he comes down, lines up the poison, misses, but misses with the fire as well. This is great play by, was it Lon Maze probably? And look at this poison, he's hitting, dodging the dodging the ground as it comes too. But it, the opponent still has armor, but no, now the armor is down and Kent is just, just doggedly attacking his opponent here. And look at that flight rune just to get him around because he knows there are lots of people here. He doesn't want to stay still very long. And again, uses his flight rune just to move. He doesn't want to stay near that because he knows everyone is coming to that area. It's like a lighthouse. Al Neckel, he's on his way to the middle too. But who's fighting here in the middle? Is it Starscream and Lon Maze? I think it's Starscream and Lon Maze. No, Starscream. Oh, it misses with the boulder. Trying to follow up with the lance. 
He sees them fighting. How does he approach this? He's just sniping from a distance. Doesn't get too close. Doesn't want to. Oh, but he's been found. And now the poison is raining down on him. He cops some armor damage. And there's a boulder from behind. How does Starscream play this? He backs off. He's trying to get... He's, oh, he's the poison from above is raining down on him. And he's down to 51 health points. And now there are multiple people here. Starscream is cornered. Finds a nice little spot to hide. And he needs to. He is down to 51 health. Nice play by Starscream to get out of that tricky situation here. Man, poison. Who's using this poison? It's Kent, is it? Or is it Lon Mays? This poison is great. I haven't seen everyone play poison like this in a long time. All right, let's see if Kent can get some kills. He's already got one. And he sees an opponent up there. Oh, he copped some damage from a stone and the butt the poison to back it up there. The opponent isn't getting enough damage on him and he's able just to lay down poison. But the boulder, the boulder is enough to scare him enough to run away. And in the kill feed, Petru gets a kill on Starscream. Petru gets a kill on Starscream in the kill feed. Alan Echo, Alan Echo's got no kills here. Let's see if he's able to mop up in the end. Petru with three kills. He is ripping up this lobby. And he's not using boulder. Give him some love for that, guys. And now he's just, yeah, just assessing the situation here. He doesn't want to go in half cocked here. And it's Kent the one who's fighting. Kent is fighting. He's dodging wind shears as they come in. He's up in the air. Will he land the dragon fire combo? I don't think he got any damage on. But he's in a safe spot here. No, he isn't. Oh my god. Did you see that snipe? Did you see that snipe? Kent thought he was safe, but he wasn't. He got sniped in that spot. I don't know who found him, but that was brilliant snipe. Now let's watch Al Necker with his double boulders here. He gets up in the air. He's able to pop one boulder, but they both miss. This is Petru he's fighting. Look at that damage from the wind shear, but it's not enough. Al Necker's Pyromancer has popped, and he's running. He is running. He sees an opponent up there. He's trying to get up there too. There are multiple people in this little castle here. He's hiding in a tree. Oh my god. No, he isn't. He's fighting. Go on, Al Necker, fight. You can do it. With 50 HP, I think he wants to hide, but he knows he can't. Let's see who he's fighting here. It is Petru. Petru with a hollow skin here. He's trying to fight his opponent who's up in the air. It's probably Kent. And he gets his own verticality up. And he sees his opponent. There it is. It's Kent. He's flying. Oh, the snipe. The mid-air snipe gets the damage on him. Kent is now hurting. Petru still has lots of health and lots of armor left. He's in the driver's seat here with Al Neckel and Kent both hiding. Look at that height. Look at that height. Can he get the snipe? He does. <gasps> The snipe from that distance. Petru with the snipe, but Al Neko, what a beautiful play. Let's see if he can get this win. He's got four kills already. It's only Kent left and he does. Petru. My God, that was a great fight. Petru is really showing his skills here. That was great to watch. He was using everything. He was using ice. He was using fire. He was using the tornado. That was just great to see. Gets the kill on Al Neko and then the kill on Kent for the win crazy that was insane <laughs> great fight the ice shot man that was beautiful petju like petjuza <laughs> gg 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 wow nice that was insane all right so we're going to take a 10 minute break guys all right back here at uh it's 10:40 where i am now back here at 10:50 in 10 minutes yeah. All right. All right. Just a few minutes. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
All right, do it. We're just gonna wait for 10 minutes. Have a break, guys. Let me just set this up on stream. All right, we're just gonna have a quick break, guys. So relax, we'll be back with the uh, preliminary scores and then we'll get into game three. All right, be back soon.
Ya ho, ya ho. <laughs> Is everyone back? Yes, I think. See the preliminary scores in the chat I posted? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, no, Sam, can you make it a visual card? Sam, they make it a visual card. I'll make it a Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to go to the かどうか、その確認のためにちょっと声出してもらっていいですかね。<笑>あああ、ピッチュです。ピッチュです。オッケー。マイさん、オッケー。青猫さん、オッケー。ケントさん、います？ケントさん、います？ケントさん、大丈夫かな？スクリーンショット。あ、いますよ。ありがとう。ありがとう。じゃあ、ゲーム3、レッツゴー。ゲーム3、そろそろ入りましょう。9、8、7、6。え ?No, I got an idiot. No, 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 out, 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 out. Oh, we just missed out on like probably two players. Alright. Oh, that's a good sign. Okay. So everyone out. Ad oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone out for a tick. Everyone out. Out of the lobby. Just wait. Lobby me. Hi. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's jump back in. All right. Yeah. Hi, Takurasai. Three people. Hello, Vinny. Hi, Takurasai. What's that? Kunin. Nice. Kunin, hello, Vinny. Nice. You could also check in and see. Takurasai. Match starting in one minute, fifteen, fourteen. One person is missing. Okay. Oh no, wait, it's 10. Okay. 10? Awesome. <laughs> All right, last game. So, yeah, check the score. Hopefully, we can see a, see a comeback over these Japanese players. Look at them. One, two, three. Yeah, man. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> oh my god. All right, so Jack, come back to the side. Good luck, everyone. Hey, come back to the side, everybody. All right, we're about to begin, begin game three. So I don't have to show you at the moment, but at the moment the scores are looking pretty good for the Japanese players. We've got Petrusan on top, and just a few points under that is Al Neko with Lord Mays in number three. So it's looking good for the Japanese players. Close to them is, I think, Full Metal is the next closest. So if we're going to see any movement on the leaderboard, it'll probably come from Full Metal. As we begin game three of the Asia Solo Tournament. And it begins with the fall from grace, as I like to call it. All right, so cheer on our Japanese players. See if they can get the one, two, three, the gold, the silver, and the bronze in this match. It would be great to see. The Japanese players have been putting in a lot of effort. They, when there's no matchings on the Asia server, they go to NA. They really deserve it. 
Every chance I get. Alright, spectate. This game. Is some it wants me to spectate pet you. Alright. <laughs> but we're not this time. Let's have a look at Star Scream for a while. Is this order I think it's the order's the same every time. Let's mix it up a bit. Follow our neko around for a little bit. Nowhere has our neko dropped. Okay, so it seems with these smaller lobbies that it's the circle seems to be centered on more of the corners, I wanna say. He's dropped up in dust pool hold. And he's already getting a a mana bubble, a skill point. He's running again the crack shot pyromancer. I think in this kind of in this kind of tournament situation, having crack shot is kind of a safety net. Because it's different from with squads where just one person you just need one person to run crack shot. And then you can deal with any any teams that have a stone shaper player. But in solo, if you come up against a player who is using Stone Shaper and you don't have Crack Shot, then there is just about no way to win that matchup. So I think that's part of the reason why Crack Shot is taken here by Aoneko. All right, let's have a look at Full Metal. He's in a fight. He's got the, his opponent down already. Easy win there for Full Metal against Kent. I don't think Kent saw that coming. At the last moment, Kent was able to get that lightning out. Was that Full Metal hitting himself? I'm not sure. <laughs> but in the end of the day, it's Full Metal with a lot of loot at his feet. He's able to choose what he wants, and he goes away with a kill. A great start for Full Metal. It's great. All right. He's using Spring Step here. Spring Step is great. It's a great rune for its rarity. Let's see how he uses it. Will he fully find an upgrade in Blink or Shadow Step? It's great for Full Metal to get a kill this early on because it means he has a chance now to rise up in the ranks. He knows he needs a lot of kills or a really good placement to get up into second, third, or even first. So this is a great start for him. Let's see how he approaches this because he will... He knows he needs points, so he will be aggressive at every chance he gets. And the man himself, he, he usually is. I don't think... I think aggressive is one word that we can use for him. And not, not in a bad way. It's calculated aggression from Full Metal whenever he's on the hunt. All right, let's move around a bit. We're back to Petju. Let's see where our players are. Petu is nowhere near the circle. He is down in Castle Bogmore, my friends. And the circle is closing. He's got dash. I hope he can make it without taking too much damage. Either way, it's going to be a while before he sees any action. <laughs> As we switch to Star Scream. He's a little bit closer. Just getting up to Dustpool Hold. You can see how these players, at this level, you don't want to drop near other players and you know potentially get eliminated early so you can see they really spread out and they're not really near the circle for the start as well one man that is near the circle is lon mays you can see here he's already in the circle and has the potential now to kind of to guard the circle to be the one waiting there for people that come in now, he's running crack shot this time, which is... See, Lon Maze is such an interesting player. Look at him. He's gone three different builds, very different builds each time. Okay, as we switch, switch to Timowit from Malaysia, he is approaching from the south. He's got a legendary stone. Let's see how he uses this. <laughs> stone can do so much damage if you engage right. And he'll be looking for a good engage. He's upgraded everything. He's got legendary gauntlets on both his left and right hand now. All right, let's have a look at Miss Zero. She might run into Petju at this rate. She kind of has the same tra trajectory as Petju. That would be interesting because I think it was Petju that eliminated her in the first game. 
So let's see if she can get to the circle safely. I mean, she has plenty of potions. She'll be fine. It's just, will she run into anyone? Trying to take the direct path. No, nope. and there it is. The ice lance. She cops it. She takes damage. It must be Petu. It must be Petu with, with this trajectory. And there she is. She's into the circle first and she's able to heal up. And now look, she is waiting and she will engage the first moment Petu jumps into the circle. Let's see if she can use her stone in her fight to her advantage. She's got lightning in her pocket. A lightning. So if the opponent does attack from a range, then she can counter engage. But look from the side. She didn't see it coming. But look at that. Hold it to the face. She gets some damage out, but it's not enough. She gets pyromancy. She gets a pyromancy popped. And now does she have enough damage and enough health to counter engage? Hit you with the ice misses. And there's some lovely stone to get some damage in. And there it is again, but not enough. Not enough. Pet you again. Takes out Miss Zero. I feel, a rival I feel a rivalry brewing here, guys. I feel a rivalry brewing here with Petju again taking out Miss Zero. In a great fight. You can see how he was so smart the way he he knew Miss Zero would be expecting him. So he just went a totally different way and got the engage. And that was the difference. It was that engage that was the difference in that fight. Now we see Starscream here. There are lots of people around. He cops some of the boulder. Not much, but enough to bring his armor down a bit. And there is someone sniping at him. It might be Petju again. Starscream finds cover. This is great play, just to be aware. And look, there's multiple people here. Multiple Ice Lancers coming in from different angles. Starscream knows he doesn't want to be in the middle of this and is able to find a position that makes him safe from all angles. Now, if he can just find out where his opponents are, he can work out how to engage. He has lightning. He can attack from a distance here. At relative safely. I mean, you don't want to be up against Ice Lance because one hit can bring you down really high. All right, there is fighting happening. Let's go see where the fighting is taking place. It's Timuret. He's got his stone. He's got his poison. Both kind of short range. Let's see how he mixes these up. Now with the dash rune, he's not able to get up. He is circling around this. Is the opponent above? If there's opponent above, they could be raining down spells in him. He's got to be careful here. Doesn't look like they are. It looks like a bit of a lull. All right, let's stick here with full metal. I don't hear the sounds of fights anymore. It looks like everyone just disengaged. And now the circle is getting closer. And there are six people still here. Now Full Metal is running the double boulder. He's got one kill. He needs more. He sees the opponent up on the bridge. He does not attack. He follows. Can he get up there? He's got spring step. Can he get up there and follow and get the kill? With two boulders, he can get a really good engage right here. He gets one. Full damage. Two. Oh, he's got the, he's got the, he's got the reset. Oh, did he see that? He hits the ice to dodge the boulder and he is still following his opponent. Tries to follow up with the ground smash, but doesn't. His boulder misses. Now he switches to ice, trying to get the bouncing opponent. The fire hits him, but and with dragon fire nearby, he knows he needs to get out of there. The poison comes in, but it's not enough to hit him, but he is down armor. And now the ice is being aimed at him. He knows it, but he's able to get the boulder out. He's able to get damage and get the boulder out. And now he is lining up his ice lance himself. He gets his boulder ready, but he doesn't see the opponent. But there's another. There's a third party. There's a third party and full metal is in the middle. Look, the lightning interrupts the heal. And now he has to run. Can he stay safe? He looks like he did enough damage to the other opponent, so the other opponent ran away, and now he can engage one-on-one -on -one with this player. There are six people still in here, all incredibly high players. The lightning misses, and Full Metal doesn't quite get with his return with the boulder smash. But there's no damage. Oh no, it is! The lightning is just chipping away here. The lightning is chipping away here, and Full Metal cannot counter this. He gets a lovely ice lance off, but it's not enough. Look at that. And in the kill field, Lord Mays defeats Timowen. So Lord Maze gets a kill. Oh, did you see that? He's up in the air, but beautiful full metal tracks him, but it's not enough. Our Neko with the air maneuvers is able to come down and get the kill on full metal. A beautiful attack there. Just losing lightning when he needs to and fire, just mixing it up beautifully. But now our Neko is under attack. The Ice Lance misses and there's no follow up, letting our Neko heal up completely. This is big. Oh, but no, here comes the enemy. Our Neko's immediately up in the air, tries to get the lightning strike in. It misses, but a lightning is getting damaged bit by bit. 
The fire comes in and he's able just to switch to wind and then just get the damage in. Look at that damage. The armor is down and Alneko is still healthy. The opponent runs away and rightly so. Did you see the way he instantly switched to wind there when the opponent came in with fireballs and the opponent couldn't do anything? That was beautiful play by Alneko just to switch up instantly to wind to counter that incoming fireball and to get amazing damage on. Let's see if there's any fights going around. Petju is being engaged upon and he is damaged. He tries to get up in the tree. Is this on purpose? That was some beautiful play just to try and do a little bit of skullduggery just to fake out his opponent. Gets the fire on the ground. It's a fireball from above and one, two, the pirate. Oh, it's Starscream. The damage trade there was in Petju's favor because his pyromancy was popped, but Starscream fell. That's the power of Pyromancer right there for you guys. A trade in damage. They were both hurting each other, but it's Petru with his Pyromancer. That lives. And now it's down to three. Aoneko, Petru, and Lon Maze. The Japanese players again. Lon Maze is flying around trying to find his prey. Or is he just trying to reposition? He's trying to reposition. Oh, look at his health. He must have been in a skirmish with Aoneko. And Aoneko is still full. And that tells you how that skirmish went, my friends. Our Neko at full, and Lon Mei's nearly dead. No health, no armor. Tells that Our Neko must have gotten the better. Our Neko must have got the better of that exchange. Now, it's a nice finish. It's a nice circle with this castle here. We're going to see a lot of nice plays, not just in verticality, but in terms of hiding and be able to sneak around and get an engage on your opponent before they see you. Alneko is using hide here just to try and find his opponent before the opponent finds him. He does. Does the opponent see him though? I don't think the opponent does. How does Alneko engage? He doesn't have the boulder, but he has lightning. He stays low just underneath the cover, but no, the opponent now sees him immediately with the fire. But look, the wind, the wind does so much damage. Tries to the lightning. I don't think it hit, but the opponent is moving fast enough away. But no, the lightning follow up. I think it was Lon Maze with the flight trying to get away, but the lightning just tracks him so well. And that's the damage that lightning can do. Our neck is using wind and lightning amazingly today just to get damage when he needs it. No one can trade into that. At distance, you can't trade into lightning. And at that distance, you can't trade into wind. He is using the gauntlets against each other in just the right way. But now Petru finds him and Alnek immediately is up in the air. Lon Maze is, I think, the third party with the Ice Lance. And now the final circle is happening, my friends. You can see there's nowhere to hide. They're trying to fight just near the edge to hide themselves, but it's not enough. Look at that damage. Look at that damage from the lightning. Petru is down. The Pyromancer is popped. Lightning strike to try to get the follow up into Lon Maze. Lon Maze is trying to get the kill on Petru. No, it's it's Lon Maze that went down. And now it's Petru and Alneko in the final circle. Now it's Petru and Alneko in the final circle. Alneko is up. Petru is up. Lightning from this distance is hard to counter, but the Ice Lance does get the hit. And now they're both down to very low health. It's Petru that is lower, but no, but Alneko is burning from Ignite. This is amazing. And it's the Pyromancer that was left, popped by Starscream that now. There was none left for Petru, and that was the difference again. My god, that was a great trade and damage there. And it was Al Neko that comes through. That was a great fight by Al Neko. That was beautiful to see the way he was trading the lightning and the wind there. No one could trade into him. The ice lance from Petru at the end there got the damage in, but it just wasn't enough. GG. 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 My god, that was amazing to watch the wind and the lightning combination there, just chunking anyone that came near you, Al Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was insane. All right, are we are we missing someone? Uh, Miss Zero is not here. Ah, okay, okay. And Kento is not she, here. She's not even online. I don't see her online. Yeah, yeah. I think she just jumped in just to help out anyway, so. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, let me quickly tally up these scores, guys. Bear with me. All right. 
just going to quickly tally up these scores and then we'll get a winner for you. Uh, Kesani Heidi Masume Shibaraku Machio. Alrighty, let's do this. Ichikiru San Point of Scacore. Ichikiru Ichi Point. Ichika. Alright, we got. Who won? Who won? Who won? Hey, funny sugar, what's up, man? No, I have to leave in five minutes. But who won? Oh, oh, Neko. Neko. That's right, yeah. bitch. Easy <laughs> fucking game. <laughs> Easy. OP, OP got it. <laughs> Full metal. What happened to what happened to the, the, the I didn't play very well today. That's right, boy. You gotta start climbing rank in Crunk. I need to actually play the <laughs> fucking video game, but it's impossible because ping, so you know. I'm gonna go watch too, the reruns right. afterwards, but uh, I'm gonna get really high with death, so enjoy right, yourself, boys. Well Alright, so I'll see you guys next Boy, I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya. Yeah. Star scream. Six. All right. Let me quickly. Get this out for you guys. All right. Save. All right. Hat tokimas. Screenshot no channel ni. Kekka wo. Hat tokimas. All right. Oh my God. Yes, I know. Oh my god! All right. Oh. <laughs> one point. This is a oh. one point. Oh. One point is the difference. <gasps> Maji. Oh my god. Stop, <laughs> Bob. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All Ooh. right, so we have in first place by one point. Oh, Neko, congratulations! <laughs> and second point, uh, just one point away, is Petju. Congratulations! Oh, sh and in third place, a valiant third place indeed, Londa Maze. Congratulations! Yay. That's awesome. Great fight, guys. Aoneko, hitogoto onegaishimasu. Hitogoto. Chose hayaku. Motomu. Just to just get an interview from our, our winner. Double stone wa dame desu ne. Ed Double Stone was no good. Ed Demonaze, the Sai Shono Shia, I sort of cut down to Nagaska. So this Double Stone is so painful. Double Stone. Double Stone. Oh, yeah, take an idea, Ska. Sister May, what take an idea, Ska? So, Shinji Nidemo. Okay, okay. Then, Hondani, Sugo cut the Sai Shono Shia. Well, I'm going to spectate Shinagara Mitta and Nagaro. Wind to lightning the gauntlet, no son at Sky Cut it. Arundana. So, the wind is a little bit of 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 a little いや、ね。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><
。うん<笑>あ。あれ、舞津さんですか<笑>うん、あの、フライトは。フライト、ああ。そうそうそうそう,そう。ああ、でもすごい。三人、日本人の選手が1、2、3になって、なんか嬉しいです。<笑><笑>みんな本当に最近頑張ってるし。ああ、OK。Alright, so that's it for the tournament. Are we going to have our Frost only match now? Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, why not? All right. Yay, alrighty. Ja, shiai kokre owari desu ga. Are there any players in squads? Like, how's the population today? Oh, true. We should just. Yeah, we should just. It'd be better doing that because I don't want to do a six player game and just. Yeah, it's true. Roam around for two days and die to double boulder some dumb <laughs> shit. Mm. I'm, I'm sad. Ja, so you must even have full metal san kara. あの提案がありましたがあのフロストをやめてやっぱもう人数が少ないとちょっと楽しくない。So、Frost is the main class. で、代わりにもスクワッドで、no、one in squad. 普通にやるという提案でしたが。So for metal, do you mean not using Frost, just play normally? Uh, I, I don't really mind. I'm, I'm saying play squads because there'll be more players. Right? Uh, no yeah, just squads, squads, like, just fun. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, just be angry, yeah, so, 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 Frost is a custom game. It's not a lot of people who are in the game. It's not a lot of people who are in the game. It's not a lot of people who are in the game. It's a lot of people who are もう自由に解散してもいいし、あの試合はここで終わりなんで、あの、まあ、本当に今日は参加してくれてありがとうございました。また次回。OK。All right. じゃあ、All right. So, anyone that wants to play, jump in Asia Squad? Yeah, we're in. No? Yeah. じゃあ、それでいいとは、アジアのスコード。に入って遊んでください。この後は自由に解散していいし。本当に今日はありがとうございました。では僕ちょっと配信の方に戻ります。お疲れ様でした。Mm-hmm. ということで、We have our winner, our echo. A second place, Petru, and a third place, the l o n d e m i s e They were dominant, I want to say. I mean, Full Metal got close to third place. But it was a dominant performance from our Japanese players. It's good to see. I mean, they do have the advantage with the server being in Japan. And just at the moment, just the, the matchmaking, they're able to play on NA if they need to find matches. But still. Just seeing these three players in particular just showing up today was great to see. All right, so that's it for the tournament. Next month we'll have our squad tournament and it will be in the new patch, I'm sure. So the new patch, is, if you haven't heard about it, it's pretty insane. They're getting rid of double jump. You're going to be able to levitate like default, it'll just use a bit of mana. And a lot of other movement changes coming in, just speeding up. Movement a bit. And of course, the class rework is coming in too. So, lots of things to look forward to. That's it for me. Don't forget to follow. Jump in the community discords if you're not. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>